Okay, folks, here's the first look at the 2020 Design Live Easy Render rendering engine. This is brand new in 2020 Design Live as of just a few days ago. I just downloaded it and installed it. And I will show you, first of all, the setting. So you number one, you have to be on 2020 Design Live. You have to have Design Live turned on, so that's number one. And then you go to your preferences and rendering performance and then you have a choice between Redway 3D that's the one that's always been there since version 10 whatever uh, and then you have the choice of easy render and the beta which is um, if you have the 2020 design live so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a view a render with the original render engine so I'm going to open a perspective window and I have a saved view that I'm going to use, which is this one. So I'm just going to let it draw, do its thing. So this will probably look familiar. And um, I'm just going to make sure that the settings are the same. So I have texture high turned on. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the HQ render button. But before I do that, I'm going to open a timer. And I'm going to see how long it takes for that to render. So I'm going to launch the high quality rendering in three, two, one. And as soon as that icon appears down in the tray, creating 3D render shapes, I'm going to start now. Okay, so there we go. So this is the high quality rendering that we are used to seeing it's kind of drawing in kind of filling in holes Now I'm rendering this on a desktop computer. I have a Core i7-8700 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a, an, uh, an NVIDIA GTX uh, 1050 Ti. Actually, that just popped off because the autosave came on, so open that back up. Not that that'll do much of anything. So we're at 30. Okay, when it gets to about a third, it goes faster. And I know I normally don't sit here and watch that happen. I let it draw in the background while I set up the next shot. So this is where it starts to slow down again. Now I have this, I didn't set this screen to any particular size, but that's the resolution that you will end up with once it's done rendering. And of course you can feel free to fast forward through this part. It's kind of boring. We're just past two and a half minutes, and we're about three quarters of the way there. and paint dry you can see down in this area down here it's just 
getting less and less jagged. Okay, so if you enjoy watching paint dry, you really enjoyed that. So that finished rendering in 7 minutes, 7.91 seconds. Now, we, last thing we need to do when we do an HQ is we need to hit the exposure just to make it look a little bit more presentable so we can see more of our countertop textures and got rid of some of the funkiness over here. And uh, so that is the... Uh, existing Redway 3D engine that has been the 3D engine up until uh, now. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to just close this and whenever that decides to close, there we go. Now I'm going to go back into preferences to rendering performance, change that to easy render and then I'm going to say OK. So I'm going to go ahead and open that perspective window again. 
Now you may notice when it draws, it is complete. It looks different when it first draws. You see reflections differently. The whites are whiter. The, um, the, the beige of the walls is a little bit lighter. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing. So you can, you can get it a little bit higher quality by hitting the HQ button. Um, now you, you can change lights and things like that, but that the whole idea behind this is that you're not going to need to do that. I just want to make sure that I am in high texture, which I am. You'll notice that you'll notice that, um, color, color with edges, texture with edges and sketch are all unsupported because they are not, uh, sketch with edges. They, they are not, uh, available with the new easy render rendering engine, but the whole idea is that it's easy. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up my timer again. I will reset it and then I will hit the launch. Let's see if I can do this quickly because it goes fast launch and then play. And then if you watch the, the counter, If you watch these glass doors, will start getting a little bit darker as it goes. Have a reflection of a light down here. And after just about 30, 7.49 seconds, you have a high quality render. Whites are bright. Now, slightly different. I tend to like the glow coming in from the window and that's not really here, uh, but stainless steel sink looks pretty good. The stainless steel appliances look pretty good and the glass doors look pretty good. You've got the reflection of the lights in a couple of places. So I think all in all pretty good. You can go in and adjust the exposure, but don't really have to. I guess I could darken it a little bit. That looks pretty good. And uh, and there you have it. So that is uh, your two, your old Redway 3D in versions up through 12.1. And you have the beta of the Easy Render, which is brand new in version 12.2. So let me know what you think.